Okay, you guys, so it looks like Nicki Minaj and her husband, Kenneth Petty, got into some conflict yesterday after the NYC Knicks game. So Nicki was spotted leaving the NYC Knicks game with her husband. At the time she was leaving, she was signing some autographs and taking some pictures with fans and saying goodbye to her fans. And then a few moments later, she ran into the president of Black Music at Atlantic Records, Mike Tizer. So shortly after Nicki got done with signing autographs from her fans, she turned away the Mike Tizer out of the Knicks game so they ran into each other Nikki did lock eyes with him but Nikki's husband don't play when it comes to her so he went up to Mike Kaiser but Nikki quickly grabbed him away take a look <laughs> Mind you guys, Cardi B is signed to Atlantic Records and in 2018, Nicki went on a rant about Cardi B on Queen Radio and she did mention Mike Kaiser. Take a look. See, I'm in a great place in my life. I love my life. I love where I am. They strategically put out these lies, but, you know, with people from her camp. I, if I tell you what Kaiser said about you, it'll be a war. I've kept my lips sealed because I don't need to be messy. I'm in a great place in my life. I love my life. I love where I am. They strategically put out these lies, but, you know, with people from her camp. And the reason why Nicki snubbed Mike Kaiser is because he is the president of Black Music at Atlantic Records, which is a record label which has been known for trying to get other artists and other people to try and go against Nicki. And this has been going on for years now. And allegedly, Atlantic Records do pay people and other artists to go take Nikki down. For those of you who don't know, Lady Leisha, who is a female rapper from the UK, speaks out about this. Take a look. Leisha, is it, is it actually true that you got offered 250K to write a diss track for Nikki and you turned it down? What? Yeah, it is, yeah. What? Are you only hearing about this now? I what? remember hearing about it at the time, but I've never had a chance to actually I heard the speak rumor. to you about it. Oh, yeah, no, literally, yeah. Genuinely, that's what happened. Uh, and that just came from me doing a cover of Look At Me Now, you know, Bossa Rhymes. Mm. It went on World Star, and then, like, Atlantic Records wow. was trying to reach out. Fast forward, I'm sitting down in front of this guy with my manager at the time, and um, he's just like, yeah, we, we basically want you to do a diss track to Nicki Minaj. This is after I played him my whole, like, EP or whatever I've got coming out. And it's like he just he didn't really care about it. And um, I just knew something wasn't right, and... Um, I went away, I'm not going to lie, I went back on the flight home, I was bawling because I'm thinking, yo, this might be my only opportunity to get my mum a house. But, um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't because fast forward, then Nikki, Nikki invited me to her exactly. tour. And yeah, man, so you always have to go with your gut mm. instinct, yeah. man, and, and you integrity. you still got mums in your house as well. This is what I'm trying to come say. On, come, on, come, on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Imagine seeing the man that's been trying to take down your career for years now and it ain't working. So this is why you guys have to give Nikki her credits because she's still the go in the industry as a female. But anyway, guys, tell me how you guys feel about this video down below. Tell me if you feel like Nikki's husband was wrong for trying to approach Mike Kaiser like that. But make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.